Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw that illustration in mid-century art. Mid-century art is an American art of 50s and 60s. The illustration varied in complexity from basic cartoon figures to nearly photograph quality renderings. They favored simple lines and brush strokes with a typically limited color palette. Advertisements often captured the idyllic American life with a side of humor, featuring happy people using happy products to enrich their happy lives. This level of optimism and joy was likely an after-effect of post-war America. The economy was booming and people just wanted to move past those dark days and live their lives looking toward a comfortable and stable future. And if you want to draw with me this mid-century art illustration, then keep watching! This is the size of the rock space and these are the color codes of my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at the design, you can do it on my Patreon page, the link will be below this video. And now let's start the tutorial. Ok guys, here it is our rock space and the colors already in the swatch panel. Let's take this color and rectangle tool and draw the square like that. Ok, now let's take dark red color and let's create uh, the rectangle like this, rotate it and move here. We need to create a table. Let's rotate rotate like this. Ok, now select the rectangle, copy and paste it, move a little down, make it blue color and now twice copy and paste uh, their background, select the copy of background and red rectangle pathfinder intersect, the blue rectangle and pathfinder intersect. Now let's draw their thin rectangle with help of rectangle tool and blue color. Ok, rotate it and move here. Now hold ALT and make copies like that. Ok, now select the whole design like this, take shape builder tool, hold ALT and delete unwanted parts like this. Ok. Now move these two shapes to front, ok. And now select dark blue color and rectangle tool, draw the rectangle like this. Now we need to take direct selection tool and move this corner up and this one like this. Now copy this shape and go here and paste the shape and put it here like that. Ok. Now with help of direct selection tool select these two points and with help of arrow on your keyboard, move 
the points down like this and now again copy this shape and paste it here okay let's fix a little move this shape like that and now this triangle sent to front and delete this shape with the help of shape builder tool and now let's make the lines on the table a little unperfect select the line and smooth tool and just move the tool along the line and you see the line is became unperfect and you need to make the same with obvious lines okay guys the table is ready now let's draw the coffee select light green color rectangle tool and draw the first rectangle now here we need to draw the second rectangle like this okay now take top rectangle free transform tool that option and make the top a little wider and now take uh, the this rectangle and again free transform tool and that option and make that wider this part okay now select both rectangles and go to pathfinder unite now take direct selection tool select these two corners hold and drag them to round the corners now select these two points and hold and drag them to round the corners okay now you need to take a rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle like this and now select direct selection tool and these two corners and a little round the corners okay now take this shape and free transfer tool make here a little wider and here thinner okay now take the shape go to effect warp squeeze and here I take 38 and horizontal. Okay. Object expand appearance. Now let's make it shorter and move a little down. Okay. Now let's take the ellipse tool and draw here the ellipse. Move here. Select these two shapes and bring them to front okay let's make this shape dark green color for a while to see it and now let's select all shapes and make the coffee glass a little bigger like that i think now it's great move here okay now take these two shapes light green color and go to pathfinder unite now direct selection tool select these two points hold and drag them to round corners now take these two shapes and align them okay now let's take this green color and ellipse tool and draw the ellipse here like that move it here yes i like it now select the ellipse object path offset path minus five and a light green color now twice copy and paste the light green ellipse one of the copy little down select both copies pathfinder uh, 
intersect. Okay, uh, now select uh, this light green shape, copy and paste it, make it thinner like this and now take ellipse tool draw the ellipse like this we need to cut off the part of the glass let's make the glass white color to see it select both shapes and go to let's split a little more now select two shapes and go to Pathfinder Intersect. Let's make it this color and select Smooth tool to smooth these parts. Okay, now select these shapes and bring them to front. Now make this shape dark brown color. Draw uh, the ellipse here like this okay now copy and paste this part select both parts and go to pathfinder exclude ungroup delete unwanted parts and that part will be light brown color now again ellipse tool draw the ellipse move here select light brown part copy and paste it select the copy and the ellipse and go to pathfinder intersect and that part will be this color and again bring these parts to front okay now copy and paste twice that part move one of the copy up and now make it wider select both copies and pathfinder intersect and make light color okay now take the green color and draw here one rectangle and make it thinner make the copy make it wider now dark selection tool and play with the points this one up this one down and this part bring to front okay now take light color and pen tool and draw here the highlight like this okay let's move it a little down now we need to select that part twice copy and paste it one of the part move to the right select both copies pathfinder exclude ungroup and delete unwanted part and this one make light color and make it smaller now direct selection tool and you need hold and drag to round corners like this okay now select again pen tool and draw here the shape like this with light color okay now you need to take all these parts parts on top and bring them to front okay now let's take rectangle tool and light color and draw here the rectangle okay now take direct section tool 
move this point down and select these two points and hold and drag them to round corners. Now select these two parts, Pathfinder Unite and again move the parts on the top to front. Okay, and now take this shape, direct section tool and select these two points and round the corners. Great. Now select take pen tool and draw here the shape like that. Okay, you can stay it like this or you can select uh, uh, the shape, take direct section tool and round the corners as you like. Let's say it like this. Now select this part, copy and paste it twice. One of the copies move to the left. Select both copies, Pathfinder Exclude, Ungroup, Unselect that part and delete unwanted part. And that part make opacity multiply. Now bring it to front and again these parts on the top bring front okay now copy and paste dark brown part copy and paste this shadow select both copies per finder intersect and let's make this part this one dark brown color yes I think it's better now let's take dark green color and curvature tool and let's draw here the shape like this it will be the shadow okay now select that shape copy and paste it select the copy and this shape of finder intersect now you need to select some parts of the table and uh, the coffee and bring them to back like that now let's make this shape light green color okay now copy and paste that shape make the copy smaller and this part will be dark green color okay and uh, let's make this shape this green color i need to see it now let's copy and paste that shape one of the copy a little up now transform scale 105 okay now move this shape a little up like this a little down select both copies pathfinder exclude ungroup and select that part and delete unwanted part and this part will be dark green color now select this uh, shadow and this one pathfinder unite direct selection tool and you need to select that corner and hold and drag to round the corner okay let's move on now take uh, the light color and pen tool and draw here highlight like this it's pretty easy okay 
and again direct selection tool and you need to round corners okay now take again light color and here with help of pen tool let's draw the highlight The highlight is ready. Now select that part, copy and paste it. Select the copy and highlight and Pathfinder intersect. Now you need to move uh, these shapes and some parts of the table to back. Okay. And now you can take direct selection tool and move these point here and this one here okay I think it's great now let's move this part a little up and this one the same Copy and paste this part, select the copy and the highlight, Pathfinder intersect. Yes, now it's better. Now select light green part, copy and paste it twice, one of the copy move to the right, select both copies and Pathfinder uh, exclude, ungroup, delete unwanted part. And this part make light color, make it smaller, like this. Okay, let's play with uh, this highlight. Select both highlights, Pathfinder Unite. Now direct selection tool and round the corner here and here. Now let's copy and paste dark green part let's select it copy and paste it move the copy a little down select this light green color and bring to backward and this part light green color okay now let's add the shadow select uh, the dark green color ellipse move it here blue color here and these parts we need to send back and now let's start play with the shadow okay let it be like this now let's select the glass of coffee and make it a little smaller move here I think here is great now we need to take this shape and copy and paste it rotate it make dark blue color make it longer rotate and make it longer like this and now let's play with shadows a little Okay, the shadow is ready. Now select both shadows, Pathfinder Unite. And now send the table and the shadows to back. 
Now direct selection tool and these corners you need to hold drag and round the corners. Now copy and paste the red background and select the shadow, pathfinder, intersect. With eyedropper tool select that color and double click to brush tool and we need this middle option. And now let's draw here the shape like the drop of the milk. Okay. Now change stroke to fill and make it smaller. And now send these shapes to back. Now let's take ellipse tool and draw some more drops. Okay, like this. Let's rotate it and uh, copy and paste it. Move here. Great. Now let's select the drops and the cup of coffee and shadows and make them more smaller like this move here now let's create the shadow of the leaf file place select the photo of the leaf place hold and drag it okay now go to window image trace And here we need to select ignore white. And now let's select preview. And here we need to play with the slider. Yes, I like it. Now we can we can close the window, move here. Now go to object expand or just here expand. Now ungroup. Select that shape and move here and delete unwanted shapes. Now let's make it bigger. Put it here dark blue color and let's a little rotate it move down yes i like it now copy and paste the red background bring it to front select the background and the leaf right click make clipping mask and that's all guys the illustration in middle century art is ready hope you like the tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah.